Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Pierce and I help people identify their purpose and break through limiting beliefs so that they can live the life that they desire. So let's jump right in. Today's topic is you must see it in your mind first. So the life you desire, you must see it in your mind first. And usually I end the video with a few quotes, but today we're gonna start the video with a few quotes because I feel they're very important and obviously incredibly pertinent to the information and the topic we're gonna talk about today. So the first quote is from Robin Sharma. He says, everything is created twice, first in the mind and then in reality. So everything you want first comes from visualizing it, from seeing it. You have to be able to see what it's going to be like when you're there, when you have the body you want, when you have the relationship you want with the partner that is better than you could have ever imagined, when you have that business and you're working for yourself. You must see it first in your mind. The second quote, that I wanna share with you is by Jonathan Swift, uh, old school author from uh, many centuries ago, but his quote is, vision is the art of seeing what is invisible to others. So vision is the art of seeing what is invisible to others. And the question I have for you as we begin today's topic and talk is how often do you spend time in visualization? How often do you spend time sitting there and truly living and feeling and being in the vision that you have in your mind? How often do you do that? Do you do it once a day? Hopefully you do it once a day. Do you do it once a week, once a month? Maybe only once a quarter when you kind of review your goals and your progress. The key to you creating the life that you want and moving into this reality that you have envisioned and the calling in your heart fulfilling that is being able to see it. So the art of visualization is a practice. And what I'll offer to you is, do you just sit there for a few minutes and go, oh man, that would be cool. That, that's kind of cool. Or do you sit there and really allow yourself to engage your senses? Are you able to see what it's going to be like and engage what it looks like? What is it like when you wake up? Where are you waking up? What are the color of your bed sheets? Are you alone? Or are you next to the partner of your dreams? How do you feel when you wake up? What does it smell like in your room? What does the food that you taste like eat when you get up and have your coffee in the morning? Do you like to walk down to the beach and get a coffee and walk your dog? Do you just wake up? and make an espresso and then have a whole list of activities for your business or whatever work you're doing that's super fulfilling? What are the people like in your life? What are your relationships like? What is your day-to-day -day activity like? What is the car that you drive? What does that car smell like? What does it look like? So the other part of the art of visualization is to get hyper-specific, hyper-specific. And do you really get hyper-specific and then allow yourself again to engage your senses as you are very accurately and very descriptively visualizing into the minute details of what it's like when you're living that life. So I'll share an example. And of course, I often share examples of personal training because I had a, built a career off of physical personal training, teaching people how to master their health, their body, improve their lives in that way. And the example I'll give about hyper specific, uh, specificity and why it's so important is when people would come into me to get in shape, right? That's why you go and see a personal trainer, you're struggling, you don't feel good with how your life is, uh, and you're not feeling good about yourself and your body, you're overweight, you wanna lose weight. And so we'd sit down in this consultation and you know it's a 60 minute consultation in which basically I'm getting an inventory of their goals, uh, you know, limitations, do you have any injuries? And then we'd go through a mini session, talk about what it looks like to work together financially, time to commitment, all that stuff. But the point I want to make is about how people really didn't know what they wanted or they thought that they did when they come and saw when they came and 
to see me and work with me, you know, I would always ask, what are your fitness goals, right? That's one of the first questions I ask. Okay, tell me what your goals are. And then a lot of the time people would just say, oh, you know, I wanna get in shape. And I'd say, okay, that's awesome. What does that look like to you? And they go, oh, you know, I just wanna feel better and you know, I probably wanna lose like 10 or 15 pounds, you know, or whatever. But they really had no idea what they wanted or why they wanted it. And I, that was the first thing we would do. I would talk to them and say, I would help them clarify. And I would say, okay, you wanna get in shape. What does that look like? Or let's use this example, common one, most common one. Oh, I wanna lose 10 pounds, I wanna lose 15 pounds. I'm like, okay, great. Or you know, even more vague, I wanna lose some weight. I'd be like, okay, great. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have you not eat for two days and you're gonna go and run and you're gonna lose three or four pounds immediately within the next two days. Then great, we've hit your goal. Is that what you want? And they go, no, of course not. That's not what I came to you for. And I go, I know but that's what you told me. You said you wanted to lose weight, so I can get you to lose weight very quickly, but then we're done. Is that what you want? And they'd say, no. And I'd say, okay, well, what does getting in shape look like to you? What does that mean? How do you look? And so I would give them these different scenarios and say, do you want to you know, uh, aesthetically look amazing? Do you want to be able to take your shirt off the beach and have a ripped six pack and be able to run a mile in under seven minutes? and not be short of breath and wake up full of energy and be mentally clear and, and have all this, uh, you know, again, energy and, and feel incredible to go about your day and feel super strong and be able to, you know, play with your, go to a long day at work and be mentally engaged because you're so physically feeling good and then come home and put your kids to sleep and then have energy to put your wife to sleep after. Is that what you want? And they go, yeah, that's what I want. So the point I'm making is how different are those two scenarios. Oh, I wanna lose some weight, I wanna get in shape. Okay, great. No, I wanna be ripped, I'm gonna be the ripped dad at the beach, six pack, have tons of energy, play with my kids, extra energy at work so I'm crushing it, I'm just vibrating at such a high level, exuding positive energy, and I come home and my wife can't keep her hands off me, that's what I want. See how much more powerful that example is as a, opposed to, I just wanna get in shape. So you must, see it in your mind and not only see it in your mind by being hyper specific, but being able to engage your body, your senses, taste, touch, feel, smell, and hear what it's like. Are you coming to work and getting compliments from your coworkers and they're going, dude, you look jacked, dude, you look amazing. Oh my God, what the hell are you doing lately? Like I want what you're on, right? And look incredible in your business shirt. Yeah, that's what you want. So you see how different that is. So how often are you spending time visualizing in that way in which you're hyper specific and you're engaging in your senses? That is so incredibly important. Why is it incredibly important? Because that is the difference between you being so, gosh, not even motivated because motivation is fleeting, but just having that visualization and feeling that is the difference between you achieving and creating this life you want and just having it be, oh, that's a nice idea. That would be cool if it happened. Because along this path of creating what you want, of course, you're gonna experience hardships. It's gonna be challenging, it's gonna be difficult, and it's supposed to be. But when you can connect to what it feels like when you're finally there on a consistent basis, when those challenges arise, they're just minor speed bumps, ant hills on the way to you achieving your goals rather than seeing them as like, oh God, it's a mountain because I got to go to the gym and I'm so tired and oh, I just had a day at work and all those excuses will come up. That is the difference between you manifesting the life you want and not at all. Do you truly believe that what you desire is possible? That's another important example. Do you truly believe that what you desire is possible. So even before the visualization, and see, this is what I would do with personal training clients. I can't, or I would with some people, it depends. But what I had learned from coaching so many people, thousands and thousands of sessions, helping a lot of people transform their lives is, I would need to do a lot of psychological work with them, whether directly or indirectly, to help them reprogram their belief system about what it means to be in shape and what they're capable of. Somebody who was never in shape and never has been is going to have a hard time actually believing that they can sit there and have the bikini body that they want 
and this sexy, like incredible fit body that they've never had. It's hard, they've never achieved it. So they have to first believe it. So do you actually believe that you can achieve the life you want, that you can have that business, that you have the confidence, the intellect, the resources, the capability, the grit, the discipline, uh, the initiative to go out and make the network connections, the letting go of all the fear. Do you believe that you can have that? Because before you even visualize, well, they kind of go hand in hand. You've got to be able to believe that this is possible. If you don't believe it's possible, it really doesn't matter what you do on the surface. You could sit here and work out all day and follow all of my guidelines, but truly, if you don't believe underneath that it's possible and that you can have that body, you'll never achieve it. You'll never achieve it because your belief system is what's creating your reality. So you've got to be able to be aware of and reprogram your belief system in order to truly believe that the life you want is possible for you and that you can do this. So do you truly believe that what you desire is possible? Or is this something in your mind that you go, well, be, yeah, I mean, I can do that, sure. Yeah, I, I guess I could, I think I could. If that's your response to what it is you're trying to create or what you desire, you're never gonna have it because you really don't believe that you can do it. And that's where the doubt comes, come in, comes in and goes, you know, oh, I, I think I can do it. I probably could, I probably could. No, you've got to get a, into a place of unwavering belief with zero doubts in your mind that what you are creating is possible. So you've got to reprogram your beliefs. In order to do that, you've got to remember that everything you're doing is happening in the present moment. When you're thinking of the past, you're thinking of the past, but you're thinking of it right now in the present moment. When you're planning for the future, you're visualizing and planning in the future, but you're visualizing right now in this moment. Your everything happens here. So you've got to plan for the future in the present. So you've got to be present. In order to manifest the life you desire, you must begin to embody that visualization in the present moment. And as you do this over and over, and you begin to visualize more and more in the present moment, you begin to embody that energy. This is you shifting realities. This is you on your highest timeline. This is you connecting with your vision. This is you manifesting in the present moment and understanding what the aligned actions you need to take are in the moment as you're embodying that energy. You've got to be it first as you are it, the I am in the moment. Then what you're supposed to do in order to get there will begin to clarify itself. Okay, I am this person. Well, who is that person? That healthy, ripped person with the sexy bikini body? Who is she? What does she feel like? And as you embody that on a more regular basis, all of a sudden, boom. What you need to do, the workouts, the eating healthy, you're not even thinking about it. It's effortless because you're that person. That's just what she does. You're not thinking about it. As you do that, automatically, you begin to, over time, have that body that you want. This is the process of creation on what you're doing, but you must see it in your mind first. You must believe that it's possible. And if you don't believe it's possible, that's where you've got to start. So I will be creating probably in the next, I'd say three, four days or so, which is uh, intuitively when the timeline comes up, I'm gonna create a free worksheet about reprogramming your beliefs and, and I'll have some cool stuff guidelines, practices, some insight about it. And it'll probably be like a little two, three page ebook thing that I'll give away for free. Obviously, I'll let you know how to do it. But that's first because everything comes from your beliefs. So you've got to start from your belief system and believe that it's possible. And we can do that by visualizing and learning to embody being hyper specific and engaging our senses. Now, the first steps, of course, like I said, you must believe it's possible. Know and feel it in your heart and clearly see it in your mind. So clarity in the mind, but feeling it in the heart. You'll feel it in your body. You will know that you are embodying that future version within yourself because your whole energy will change. You will feel so freaking empowered and motivated and positive and just can't wait to get out there and tear it up. Like, let's do this, let's get this done. I'm ready. That's when you know you're in that state of your future self. It's a high energy state. So when you can spend time visualizing and practicing breaking through, identifying and breaking through, reprogramming those subconscious beliefs, you will begin to consistently become 
another energy state. And over time, as you practice this and become in that new energy state, this is transformation. This is you becoming that version of yourself, that millionaire version of yourself. How does he or she act and think and feel as a millionaire? How do you do that? When you're in that relationship, how are you doing that? Who is that person that is having their dream relationship, traveling the world with the partner of their dreams or starting a beautiful family? Who is that person? You've got to embody it in the present. Visualize, engage the senses, understand your belief system, embody it in the present. As you do this, the steps, the actions, and maybe not all the actions, probably not all the actions, maybe only one or maybe two will begin to pop in your mind. You'll begin to feel these hints. You'll see these hints and these breadcrumbs from the universe. You'll get directed to a podcast or you'll have this inclination to go to the bookstore or some new restaurant and be like, man, why does this keep coming up in my heart and in my mind? I'm supposed to call this person. I haven't talked to them in years, but I'm supposed to call the person for some reason. This is your higher self guiding you. This is your intuition guiding you into the right resources. This is the, these are the synchronicities that will begin to pop into your life. Again, guiding you to that path that you desire, creating the life that you want, that end vision that you have in mind. Now, one other important thing to talk about as you begin this process is you've got to protect your vision. You've got to protect your vision. Now, what does that mean? Um, I made a video back a while ago, months ago now, and it was actually one that kind of gave me a nod from the universe um, that this is the path I'm supposed to embark off, upon. And I've linked it in the description below, so if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It's titled, It's Your Time to Build and Move in Silence. So an important part of this process of you creating this vision for yourself, visualizing, reprogramming your beliefs, is you got to build, protect your vision and your energy by keeping things silent. You're supposed to build in silence and do this privately. Now, why? Again, go watch that video, it talks all about it. Uh, you need to keep your vision, what you're building, what you want, completely private. It's up to you and you alone and nobody else. You've got to keep this private. Don't tell anybody, even your significant other. Well, I shouldn't say that, but only people you really trust that you know have your highest good. But even then, if you're truly on your path and this is something you want for you, you don't need to tell anybody because it doesn't have anything to do with anybody else except for you. Usually the only reason we tell other people is because we want validation from them and say, look, I got this awesome goal. Look at me, I'm doing it. But then you're just giving yourself a false sense of validation. This is actually a form of self-sabotage because you're trying to give yourself credit before you've actually created the manifestation. So you need to protect your vision and your energy by keeping things private and building silently. Because the reality is most people don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to grow and change. And the reason why is because it makes them feel uncomfortable because you're triggering what they're not doing. Again, that video, go and watch it. It talks all about it. So most people don't want you to grow and change. There's a story and I, I've given this story out. I've told it once. I'll probably tell it a million times. Uh, I can tell. So it's about the fishermen and the crabs. This man's walking down the dock and sees a fisherman, a crab fisherman, and looks in the barrel. And all the crabs are starting to crawl out of the barrel. And he goes, hey, 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 what are you doing? All your crabs are getting out. And the fisherman looks over at the man and says, hmm. He's like, just sit and watch. What happens is the man looks into the barrel and watches the crabs crawling out of the barrel. Right as the crabs get to the top of the barrel, guess what happens? The other crabs yank them back down in the barrel. Unfortunately, that is most people in your life. They don't want you to change. They don't want you to have the freedom and escape, but you are not like most people. That's why you're watching this video. That's why you're working on yourself. You have a greater calling and a greater purpose. So you have got to build in silence and protect your vision by keeping things private, protect your energy. Sometimes there is no support system. It's just you, the universe, and a vision only you can see. This is something that had popped up on one of my feeds a while ago and I took a snapshot of it and kept it. And it's something that I've kept close to my heart and privately as well, that sometimes there is no support system. It's just you, the universe, and a vision only you can see. What you want, manifesting the greatest life for yourself, whatever that looks like to you, this is the sacred mission. This is for you and you alone. 
Yes, it's also for the people in your life that you care about, your family, your friends, etc. But it's not for them. It's for you. And as you focus on you and learn to be selfish, which is actually a good thing, what happens is everybody around you automatically benefits because they're interacting and dealing with a better version of you, a more positive, loving, healthy, happy, abundant, receptive, present, uh, intelligent version of you, a better version of you. So focus on this mission, keep it private, build in silence. This is for you. And as you do that, your whole world and everybody in it benefits because who doesn't benefit from you when you're just a better person, when you're a happier person, when you have more money and resources to help people and donate and do these things. This is what it's about. This is a sacred mission. The last thing I wrote is just that. This is a sacred mission and purpose. People won't understand. They don't need to. And they're not supposed to. This is about you and what you're supposed to do in this lifetime. This is you fulfilling your divine life purpose, your soul's mission. So you must first see this vision in your mind, feel it and engage your senses, be hyper specific. You must understand that there's a belief system there and anything that has you as you try to visualize block you or whatever and you're, you can hear that voice from your mom coming in and be like, that's stupid, you can't do that or you know, your friend or old teacher or whatever, or ex-spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend telling you, oh, that's dumb, you can't do that, that's not for you or a rah. No, protect it, keep it private, reprogram your beliefs, build in silence. Because if you tell people, is it gonna derail you? No, it might, it has for me in the past, but what I've realized is it's just wasted energy. So, okay, I share my vision with somebody and they don't agree with it or doubts. Now I'm sitting here defending myself for what? It's just a waste of energy. It's not for them anyways. Let your results do the talking. Focus on what you need to do internally. Make this happen. It's for you and you deserve it and you're worthy of it. And you've been working on it and it will become a reality, but you've got to embody being that person through hyper-specific visualization, engaging the senses, understanding your belief system around that, having absolutely zero doubt in your mind that this is what's gonna happen because this is who you are. Until you get in a state of absolute certainty, there are blocks there that you've got to work through. So the quotes I'll leave you with today, I've already said them, I'm gonna repeat them again from Robin Sharma. Everything is created twice. First in the mind and then in reality. Second one's from Jonathan Swift. Vision is the art of seeing what is invisible to others. And then the third quote, I don't even know who wrote this one. I just, again, it popped up on my feed. Sometimes there is no support system. It's just you, the universe, and a vision only you can see. So that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here and working on yourself. I'm sending you so much love and light. You are doing this, you're in the middle of it. Spend time visualizing, reprogram your belief system, and let's get it done. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.